model precisely, you can use 2D and 3D entity snaps on 3D solid models. You'll find 2D object snaps are in the home tab of the ribbon, and here they are collected together. I'm going to show you how 2D snaps work with 3D models. Let's start with snap to endpoint. So to be able to use it, I start the line command. BrickScad determines that the vertices of 3D models are endpoints. So I'll click there, and then there's another one there. And notice that it'll also find endpoints or vertices that are hidden from our view at the opposite end of the model. Click there, and then close. Snap to midpoint finds the midpoints of edges. So there's one, another one, and same thing, it'll find the uh, midpoints of hidden edges. Let me move to a cylinder. BricsCAD recognizes the uh, round parts of the cylinder, so I'll start the line command again, and this time it finds the center point of the top of the cylinder, and similarly it'll go to the center point of the bottom part of the cylinder. The quad is recognized on the edges of the cylinder, and so we can draw lines like this. One of the most powerful entity snaps called Snap to Geometric Center, and it finds the center of any shape, no matter how oddly shaped it is. So let me enter the line command, and uh, there's the exact center of that. That's quite a calculation that BricsCAD makes effortlessly. One entity that defies entity snaps is the sphere. We can go ahead and turn on all of them, and, and only the center will stick, and none of the other entity snaps work. BricsCAD provides a set of 3D object snaps, but kind of keeps them hidden. They're not available in the ribbon or on the menu bar. I find the easiest way to see the list of their names is to enter the, the dash 3D OSNAP command at the command prompt. The 3D OSNAP toolbar lets you see which of the 3D OSNAPs is on and which is off. The Z nearest entity snap snaps to the nearest point on a surface to the cursor, so let me start the line command again, and now you can see that the uh, nearest icon is showing up no matter where I am on this 3D box. So let me start here, and then draw up from that. The Z intersection entity snaps finds the intersection of a linear entity like this line, and a face. So I'll start the line command again, and this time you see it snaps to that intersection right there. The Z knot entity snap is a bit unusual. It's not particularly 3D. It snaps to the knots of a spline. So here I've drawn a spline, and as always I'll start the line command, and as I move the cursor around the spline it finds the knot points, and then I can draw my line from knot point to knot point. The Z vertex entity snap snaps to the nearest vertex on a 3D entity. And you might notice that it works exactly like the regular entity snap called intersection. Similarly, the Z midpoint entity snap operates exactly the same as the 2D midpoint entity snap. And finally, Z center operates just like the geometric center entity snap in 2D. So what is the difference between the 3D version and the 2D version? Well, when you use the entity snaps that start with Z, they ignore 2D entities when it comes to vertices, midpoints, and centers. Mm -hmm.